Hi there, Chris from Mid-South Fencers Club. We're gonna be talking today about how to repair a two-prong foil or saber body cord. Some of the most common problems with these body cords are sweat or, or moisture getting into the cords, getting them rusty, uh, the prongs becoming detached, or the little fins on the side becoming too narrow to fit in the socket. Before we begin, we are gonna be working with some sharp tools like a razor knife, as well as some very tiny screwdrivers. So it'd be great if you had a parent around or if you're an older fencer, just try to stay safe. Let's get started. So before we begin, we have to talk a little bit about the tools that we're gonna need. We're gonna need some wire strippers, a razor knife, a permanent marker, and some tiny screwdrivers these are precision screwdrivers, but jewelers, screwdrivers, or, or glasses screwdrivers are really what you need. In general, most body cords require only flat head screwdrivers. Your mileage may vary. What I've done here is I've unwrapped the cord and we can take a look at what each of the three ends means. So this is our A-line, which connects to the far pin on the three prong end. You see that this prong is a little bit closer, it's a little closer to that middle B prong, which is our small one on this side. And then our last pin is our C line, here to here. The first thing that we're gonna need to do is disassemble our two prong end. So I'm just gonna push that over here and we can take a look at it. Grabbing my tiny screwdriver, we need to take off this retaining clip. It is required that you do have a retaining clip for all competitions, so make sure you hang on to that. And if yours breaks, see if you can't uh, harvest a different body cord and get yourself another one. This is spring-loaded, so note that I am pushing down on this as I take this screw out. All right, I'm just gonna take it all the way out. Um, I'm doing this on a wooden surface, but laying down a white towel or a plastron will help you not lose pieces and make it easier to see everything. I'm moving over here using a slightly different, slightly wider flathead, slightly bigger flathead. And I'm just gonna start taking the other screws out. Just a very, just go. All right, looks like we've got everything all apart. I'm just gonna slide those pieces once more. I'm gonna slide those right over there. I like to keep a pretty, pretty neat and tidy work surface. We can just pull those right apart. All right, there we are. So those are our pins. And I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna mark, do you remember what this one is? This is your C-line. I'm gonna mark that C-line before we take it apart. You can mark whichever one you want, but it just makes it easier for later that you don't mix them up on accident. So these little pins have some tiny screws. We don't want to take those all the way out. We just want to release them until they let the wire go. Once again, we mark that. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna grab my wire snippers and just cut that right off. Excellent, we just toss that right in the garbage. So here's, the, here's where you're gonna need that razor knife. And I'm gonna just 
press the razor knife into the gap, giving myself about, hmm, about an inch. Press it right into that gap. Just kind of push and pull so the wires separate just like that. And I'm just gonna pull a little bit more. Coming over here. Just gonna take about a quarter inch off the end of each wire. If yours looks especially green, maybe go a little bit farther. The best thing about repairing body cords is uh, it's pretty impossible to make a true body cord ending mistake. If you do make a mistake, you just start over and the only, only penalty is having a slightly shorter body cord. So what I've done here, the wires are all fanned out when you take them off. What I've done is I've taken and just spun them a little bit, trying to bring that into a tighter little package. We don't want too much wire floating around inside that clamshell case. So I'm just gonna take that and just slide that right on the end there. Now, I'm holding this all in one hand. The, the, the wire is shoved inside the bottom of the pin. I'm gonna come back over here, grab my tiny screwdriver, and just lock that right down. And now I can, you know, I can tug on it. It shouldn't come out. If it does, stop, check on that. What you don't want is for your pins to just come right off. That's uh, not really where we want to be. So, okay, that is all back together. We can come over here, take a look at our clamshell case. So you'll notice that on this one, this side has a bump and this side has an indent. We're gonna use and push on that indent first. This side, this half circle is a little bit bigger. So that's gonna be our C line. Slide that right in there, slide that right in there. And I'm just gonna give it a good push. I'm kind of holding at the same time. What you can do is just push, 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 and I'm gonna slide that right on top and hold it with one hand. You know, I quite enjoy working on body cords. Sometimes it can be very frustrating, but sometimes it's a nice, relaxing way to spend some time, especially when you have of moments of downtime. All right, we're just gonna screw that back in. That looks good right there. We don't wanna have any, any real big gaps going around. We want those pins to sit nice and tight. I'm gonna grab this other screw. So just reassembling, just like we took it apart. Pretty tiny there, but. So what I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm, I put that screw and that, uh, like the button in together. So the, the spring and the button going in together. I take that washer, just put it around the top. Take that little screw, put it on top of that and just slide it all back together. Releasing the button a little bit. And just sliding that back in. Just tighten, tighten, tighten. Wonderful. And then always give it a good tug to make sure that is all back together. Now we're gonna talk about the three prong end. We won't be talking about the alligator clip today. If you have a, a soldering iron, you can simply re-solder that back on. Um, pretty easy to do. Talking about this three-prong end, it is very similar to repairing our two-prong end, 
we just have another line to work with. So I'm gonna begin by loosening those screws. I'm pushing the body cord right to the table and loosening each of these screws. And ideally, doesn't always happen depending on, on how sweaty the body cord has been, how much water has gotten around the body cord. We should have three nuts just sitting on the table when all is said and done. That one's being a little hesitant, but that is okay. And now we have those, those screws popping out the bottom. We have, ah, well that explains why this wasn't working, huh? Just popped right out. All right, let's double check, just like we did with the other side. We always wanna make sure that we're working with the right lines. So I'm gonna take a moment and mark our C line. much easier to assemble, much easier to reassemble. Everybody, everybody makes that mistake at least once. Mixing up your lines. We know this is, we know this is our A line. It's, it's, it's been uh, alligator clipped, or it is the alligator clip. And I'm just gonna snip that, again, snip that right off. We're going to unscrew these pins from the wire. Uh, you will notice that all of these pins on the three prong side are identical. Those are all the same. And just like before, I'm going to separate these wires, giving myself just a little bit of space, kind of pulling slash pulling the wire at the same time. Separating cutting about, well, let's just say about that much, about a quarter inch. There we go, giving those a twist on the end. I'm gonna take a look at this end as well. We're just gonna pull that right off. Trash. Is that trash? And again, just snip that right off. Okay. So here we're pretty much ready to reassemble our body cord. I'm going to be sliding each of the pins right over the end. doing looks good now this is often the most frustrating part what I what I like to do is grab an old epe socket what this does it allows us to line up our pins with the case keeping them in the right spot not letting them move around too much as we try to reassemble before we do that let's take a moment and and spread those pins out so I'm taking a very tiny screwdriver there's these fins on the side of most pins. The Leon Paul pins do not, Leon Paul body cords do not have this. They use a offset method usually. And I'm just gonna spread those out. So I don't know if you can see that very well, but I'm just gonna open that. See how this side is very flat and this side kind of comes out a little bit. We, we want it to go out a little bit. That makes it easier to fit inside the socket when it's time. All right, so we're gonna go our C line, our B line, and, and our A line. Slide that back in. 
loosen that screw up a little bit. I'm not taking those screws all the way out. Uh, it's just just unnecessary. It's easier to just keep it keep it all together. And there are a line Let's Stretch those pins as well. We're just going to rest the whole thing on top. I'm going to rotate the pins so the screws are up. This makes it a little bit easier for me to fit everything back inside the clamshell case. This is often the most frustrating part for, for I say beginning armorers, but for most people who are trying to rebuild their body cord. This is just a lot of little you need about four hands, I would say, to make sure that you get it done just right. So everything's fitting, fit in. Again, I want to try to make sure that all the screws are vertical. It makes it a little bit easier to fit back together. And here, I'm going to take the other side of that clamshell case and just put it right on top and kind of push. Before I try to put my screws in, I'm going to take my tiny screwdriver and just push everything, maneuver things where I want them until they all start to come back together. Excellent. And then. Doing just one at a time. Just putting those screws back in. And it's okay to take some time to make sure everything is where you want it to be. Make it much easier. Okay, to give it a wiggle, give it a push, give it a pull. See how you need things to be. Sometimes you have to take it back apart, and that's okay too. Start over. You can always, always start over. All right, and we're trying to get some nice, we don't want too much space here. We want to have some nice, clean edges. It just looks nice, it does a better job of keeping sweat out of your body cord, which can start to affect conductivity. That looks pretty good. And then we can just pull our epi socket off. We're all done. All right, nice. And give it, give it a tug, give it a pull. Especially, especially this A line. You want to make sure that that's all tight and neat in there. So this has been Coach Chris with Mid South Fencers Club fixing a two prong body cord. Have a wonderful day and stay safe.